Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my show Camera Tuesday. Today we're gonna take a look at black and white camera. So let's go right into it. So before we look into black and white camera, we have to understand what a camera is. So the normal color camera we see everyday uh, digital camera in our life are generally either a CCD or a CMOS. So here's the deal with CCD and CMOS, both are black and white. So basically all they do is tell you the brightness of an area in the sensor. So let's say these are the pixels, it's gonna tell, okay, this is how bright that pixel is, this is how bright that pixel is. It does not have color information. To give that color information, we put something known as color filter on top of it. As you can see, that's the beta ray uh, filter. And based on that filter, we get an image now we get image like this which is very jagged and pixelated because each pixel only has one color information then we send it to a demosiering processing or this process is called by different uh, many different names so after the processing we get image like this so our camera is basically black and white the sensor is black and white we put color filter on top of that the raw image from the sensor we get is like this then we do the processing this is done in camera like almost at the sensor level basically the first processor it goes through takes care of this so we get this image so this is how black and white camera works basically we remove the color filter so what's the benefit of having that color filter obviously we have filter types there as i can show you there are many color filter types some are used for uh, getting better skin tone some are used for getting uh, less more effect some and barrier filter it's a very fancy name barrier filter the first one i'm showing you is the most commonly used and the reason why it has more green than uh, red or blue is because our eye is tuned in green light we can uh, differentiate between more shades of green than any other color and foliage is also green so it, the images that come out of that filter is more pleasing however a scientific uh, guy will use this filter or that filter there are different filter for different needs it works on existing technology we do we did try to make a uh, sensor that can actually detect the color of uh, the light that is coming it suffice to say that was idiotically expensive and did not even present uh, image that was good enough like it was good but not groundbreaking and it was idiotically more expensive and it it gives a very good color reproduction we have been uh, doing a lot of r d in this field and suffice to say you can get quite precise colors out of this and it's cheap and simple you take a black and white sensor which we know how to mass produce you put a color filter on it you add some processing and boom you get color image so this is the pro of this whole arrangement however what is the con of it it uses digital process to recreate the color now that itself is a fundamental problem because the pixel is only recording r g or b there is no way it uh, for it to know what is uh, what is the value of red where there is blue pixel basically uh, software is recalculating recalibrating or like mathematically uh, mathematically projecting the data so it's very good but it's not absolutely correct uh, that's why scientific instruments will generally not use it and it has a loss of resolution now in astronomy world basically uh, backyard astronomy or things like that people generally take the sensor uh, as you can see this one is a canon 60 sensor and remove the barrier filter out of it and as you can see it doubled the resolution you did not did anything to the sensor but still got better resolution. Why? Because it's not going through that process of uh, calculating what color value should be there. So that's why you have to understand. It also uh, uses a lot of light, which is very crucial for many applications. As you can see, rather than having filter, it can accept all the light. So these are the pro and con of our color digital world. And we are used to color camera, as you can see me right now. So why do we need black and white? Well, you have to understand black and white camera is quite useful for high speed photography simply because having a filter in front of a photo sensor area reduces the amount of photons going through and for high speed you already need a lot of light and suffice to say it would be advisable to remove that filter to get more light so as you can see this is a photograph of a nuclear weapon test fired so black and white allows us to have very fast exposures and not to mention it um, it has very small file sizes because there is no processing going on basically the black and white image comes out literally from the sensor it has very low processing time so your processor is very relaxed that will allow you to uh, handle higher frame rate per second 
and it's very usable for security cameras where you don't need to like you know see the color of a number plate but you need the detail and as already mentioned the resolution goes up even on the same sensor so it's a very uh, useful security camera application and you have to record that footage and store it black and white footage are quite uh, low file size basically so there are some uses of it However, let's go dive into the core reason of why black and white cameras are used in more modern days. It's for science and navigation. So we are all about waiting, you know, patiently for our self-driving car. They will have black and white cameras. Simply because color information is useless at that point. You just need to know whether a car in front of you is a car or a truck. Color information is not going to help you with that. And Mars rover, the rovers that we sent on Mars, generally all of them have a lot of black and white camera and only few color camera as you can see in this. Like for navigation, they rarely use color cameras and it's uh, not only you get better resolution, uh, low file sizes, you also get faster processing speed which is quite crucial for self-driving car and rovers. And now we have autonomous drones, photographic drones that are coming into market like this one. It uses 12 navigational camera. Now imagine 12 color camera, the data throughput that is needed for processor to handle would be too high. So black and white camera has a lot of use in our modern day to day life. So suffice to say, don't just count them out yet. So this was my presentation on black and white camera, digital camera. So I hope you like this presentation. In that case, please like. If you didn't dislike, leave a comment. Please subscribe. Press the bell icon to be notified because I make video every day. And as always, thanks for watching.